Hello YouTube. I'm going to uh, try and show the process to delete the ethanol from 10% uh, ethanol fuel. Uh, what we have here is like a, a two liter bottle. It's 91 octane, 10% ethanol pump gas. That's all you can get here in California is 10%. And that's uh, it's a little over a liter. So what I'm going to do is uh, add some water to it. Um, they say add 10%. But uh, you're not making like rocket fuel here. It doesn't have to be exact. And uh, also, I've, I've added some blue food coloring to the water just so it shows up. So you can uh, actually see the difference where the ethanol attaches to the water in the gas mix. Okay, so here we go. I uh, hope this doesn't spill over. I'm holding the camera with one hand. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay. Here we go. Did you see that? Okay, already the water is dropping to the bottom. You can see it working with the gasoline. Okay, let me put the lid back on this stuff. What we're going to do now is put a cap on this container. Tight. So it doesn't leak. And mix this stuff up. You want to shake it good. Because you want to get every bit of that water mixed with this fuel. Okay, I think it's mixed up good. Okay, I've got a cold, so sorry about the sniffles. Um, see how cloudy that mixture is. There's water, gas, mixed up. Now, the thing about the ethanol is it's attracted to the water. It will... As that settles, the ethanol will attach to the water. So then later you can drain the ethanol off, leaving just clear fuel, no ethanol. So you'll have an ethanol delete fuel. So with the process of uh, super duper fast time lapse, Let's go over here. Oh, this is what it looks like separated. Now, I did this yesterday, 24 hours ago. You can clearly see that little layer of ethanol sitting on top of that blue water. Now, I use my ladders out here because this ladder has a hole which allows this container just set perfect. And what I've done is uh, taken the cap and drilled a hole, put a fuel line up through it and use some epoxy. 
Now that, that fuel line's only just about, well, it's less than an eighth of an inch into that cap. Then I've got a uh, inline on off petcock. And then the line goes down to a container right there. And what I'm going to do is drain off the ethanol. And when I drain it, I'm going to let it drain just a teeny bit more. I'll lose just a fraction. I, I'll lose a fraction of gasoline. But uh, that's okay. Okay, let's see if I can do this with one hand. All right, now I'm going to keep the camera up here to show you as it drops down. Okay, it's dropping. See it go? it okay I'm gonna let a little more go it's clear gas and I shut it off okay down below I've got my mixture of water and ethanol kind of tight space in here see that Okay. Let's wait for that air bubble to uh, catch up. All that uh, water and ethanol drain out of there. Because the next step is we're going to drain it off into our container. Let's let that drain a minute. Okay. And what we have here is my uh, gas container. And I've got it labeled here. 87 octane ethanol delete. Because what happens when you eliminate the ethanol from the fuel Per gallon, you lose about four octane points. So I started out with 91, so I'm going to end up with about 87. Now, for most uh, stock motorized bike engines, overhead valve with a uh, 8 to 1, 8.5 to 1 compression ratio. 87 octane is fine. Now, if you have a high performance engine with a higher compression ratio, say you got a shaved head or compression piston, you're going to have a higher compression ratio. So you might need to add a little bit of octane boost. To this 87. Now make sure you use a non-alcohol octane boost. Don't put a, don't put alcohol back in or methanol. So uh, I've got some 108 turbo. It, it's not an alcohol base. Sometimes what I'll do is put like uh, two cap pulls to a gallon and that should kick it back up to around 90 91 okay let's see what we have going here okay this line is completely drained there's no ethanol water left in this line let me get rid of this stuff I, I use this stuff to put it on weeds this ethanol kills weeds 
I don't know what else to do with it. It's water soluble. There's a little bit of gas in there. So I guess you can't pour it down the drain. Federal offense, you know. Okay. Let's put our gas tank down. Okay, here we go again. Let's put our fuel line in. Okay, let's drain our ethanol deleted fuel into our can. Here we go. There it goes. Pretty simple, guys. Now you always got to leave room in these containers because you can see how this gas expands and contracts the container. Ooh, it's really twisting. It'll be fine though. Okay, we're almost there. And once that drains down into that container, you got ethanol free fuel. Piece of cake. Easy as pie. Okay, talk to you later.